Hi, this is Brian Smith. Today is video number 11 in my daily Linux video series. Today is Friday, March 6th, and today we're going to talk all about the change command, C-H-A-G-E. This is the command that you use to manage all the password-related um, expiration settings on Linux. All right, let's start by doing a, a change minus minus list, and then the, um, the user we want to take a look at. This will list out all the relevant password um, settings for this particular user. All right. Starting at the top, the last password change, pretty self-explanatory. This is the date that the uh, user last changed their password. Password expires. All this is is the last time they changed it, plus the maximum number of days between the password change, which is basically the number of days the password is valid. So, so the last time they changed it, plus how long it's valid for, equals the password expires date. So in this case, um, they changed it March 6th. Password's valid for 365 days. That's the maximum number of days. So the password expires um, basically a year from the last time it was changed in this case. All right, password inactive. What that what the inactivity um, setting is is basically once the password is expired on March 5th, 2016, the user would have however many days specified um, in this setting to change the password. So in this case, once their password expires. Um, they won't have the ability to change it. If you set this to like 30 days, then basically they would have 30 days after March 5th, 2016, where they'd have an opportunity to change it um, before the account was locked. Um, account expires. This can just be set to a date um, in the future where the account will just lock on that particular date. So this is useful if you have like a, a temporary um, person on, on the server and you can specify a date to disable them or lock them. All right, minimum number of days. This is just the number of days um, before, you know, after a user changes the password before they can change it again. So if this is set to seven, then they wouldn't be able to change their password for seven days um, again after the after they had changed it. Maximum number of days, we covered this one. This is just the number of days that the password is valid for. And after the, this, it'll be expired. And the number of days of warning, this is just how many days um, before the password expires, that they'll start getting a, a warning message on the screen when they log in. All right, so to change these settings, um, let's start with the the expire date. So if you do a age minus capital E, put the year dash the month dash the day, and then the username, that will that will uh, change that or set that expiration date for that user. So if we do a a list again can see that the account is set to expire on March 9th, 2015 now, what we set here. All right, let's um, go on to the inactivity days. Let's change this user to have a 30-day inactivity window. So let's do it to age, minus capital I, 30, test user. Okay, so now you can see the last password change was March 6, 2015. Password expires um, 365 days later, which would be March 5th, 2016, and we set the inactivity to be 30 days, so the password will be inactive or completely locked if they haven't changed it by April 4th, 2016. So basically, <clears throat> after March 5th, the, the system would um, force the user to change their password, and then if they didn't log in before April 4th, 2016, then the account would just be locked and they'd have to get a system administrator involved to uh, resolve resolve the problem so they could get logged in again. All right, to set the minimum number of days, you do a change minus M, and let's set that to seven, so they'll have to wait seven days before they can change their password again. Okay, and that changed that to seven there. The uh, max number of days, you set with a capital M, so let's change that to 180 days. Okay, and you can see that this automatically, when we change this, it automatically updates the date that it expires, and then the inactivity date. Um, these are all based off, um, basically, the expires date is the last change plus the max number of days, and then the expire date or the um, inactive date <coughs> was the um, we set that to be 30 days, so this will be 30 days after it expires. All right, and then to change the warning days, you do a change minus W, and let's set it so they have a 14-day warning. 
and you can see that change that there. So I hope this video was helpful for you. This you know learning about how, all the settings you can change with change. Um, it's a very useful command to have um, when you're working with password expiration. So if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys have a, a great day and a great weekend this weekend. And we'll see you next week with some more videos. Thanks.